Okay, well now we'll try and show you how to install a set of fittings into a standard Astoria or Astoria Deco close couple pan. So this is the components which you will get in your bag. First thing I'd like to quickly show you is the uh, siphon. It's a Thomas Dudley siphon. It's a two-part siphon with the aim being that once it's installed you can remove the yellow split pin, which you can see here. And what this allows you to do is to if there was an issue in the future where the diaphragm fails, it does allow you to take the siphon apart and replace the component without having to get a plumber in to change the component. Okay, so we're going to install this now into the tank. So um, before we do, the first thing we need to probably recommend we should do is actually install the um, overflow um, stopper which uh, allows you to go on either the left or the right hand side. The normal inlet side we recommend is on the left hand side so this actually needs to go onto the right hand side. So what we do is we first of all get the stopper, place a rubber um, sealing ring on it. We normally would recommend a small bead of silicone on, on both sides of the ring just to ensure a good seal. So then that, this goes into the tank And yet again, is using the nut provided, connected up. In normal circumstances, we would use a wrench to give really good torque and make sure we have a really good seal. Okay, next thing we're going to do is now install the um, siphon. So yet again, pick the siphon up. We'd normally recommend initially we'd put a bead of silicon on the underside of a siphon before you insert the ring, and then another bit of silicon yet again on one top of the ring. This ensures that we get a really good seal when installed. So we now place that inside with the bell housing being on the right hand side. Yet again, once this is all tight, we'd recommend that you use a torque to yet again really ensure a very good seal and make sure it's really tight. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is connect the siphon to the lever. Um, so on this particular occasion, we're going to we're going to need to uh, swivel things around a bit. So while Oliver just gets himself together, that should just go on. And then as you can see, with a little bit of effort we can get this on. And there we go. So it's all fitted into place. In some situations we would recommend that you saw off this to the correct length if need be, just to ensure that it doesn't catch on the top of the siphon. But in this particular case it's fine. Okay, now to connect this to the tank, we have two types of fixing methods. We either have the um, bolt... Um, fixing clip kit or we have the bolts kit. So what we will do on this particular tank because we see that there are holes all the way through we're obviously using the bolt kit. Okay. The last final thing I'd just like to quickly point out is that on normal tanks we would include this donut style seal and this will fit over the nut onto there and this creates a seal between the tank and the toilet. Anyway, if you have any further questions on how to fit a tank up, please don't hesitate to contact the Imperial Bathroom Technical Support Team or email sales at imperial-bathrooms.co.uk. Hope this has been useful.